Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quarantine Diaries. <laughs> it is Monday, day three of being home, chilling with my family as a part of social distancing. So we're going on a little outing to a nature place away from people. And I don't even know what it is. It's a rock state park of some sort. I don't know, but I'm wearing this little zip up from Boohoo and this little beanie that I don't think looks good on me. We're just gonna go with it and leggings and I'm gonna have to wear snow boots that are not cute. Well, let's go. Quarantine field trip. The great outdoors. This is Smith Rock State Park, right? So did we ever find out which one Smith Rock is? Cause there are quite a few rocks I here. it was the one we saw when we were driving in, that big one that was- Is it one of those? Well, like the, it might, it might, it might be on the other side of that tree. It's so pretty though, like the no, water like down there, all the rock snow. Rock That's where they, oh yeah, that must be where they climb. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. You can't see it beyond the tree, but there's a big rock. <laughs> that's probably just like an address. Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Good morning. It is so pretty outside because it's actually sunny again. This is what it looks like Saturday morning, but it's 18 degrees right now, but it's gonna melt because I think it's gonna get up to like mid thirties or forties in while we can. I just got up, it's about eight. Quarantine life, I don't even know if I'm gonna get ready today. We went on a field trip yesterday, so I did, but honestly, giving my skin a break. Tuesday morning, 17th of March, 2020. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> and as you chill at home. In just ahead, we've got a lot more as we continue this hour totally devoted to your Q&A about the coronavirus. I like this idea. So many people have questions. Can't get away from it. Guys, I hate home workouts. But I'm forcing myself to like them, and get better at them, and try them. <laughs> and Friends is on 24-7. So how was your experience? Did you have to fight anyone? No, I, uh, Was there a line? I just go back to Costco. Place right away from me and just left. Good, good. I know, there's only one person ahead of me in line. Oh. Uh, the belt was totally full. What do you mean the belt? Like the stuff they were getting? The, person, the second person in front of me had a used belt. Mm. First of all, I had a normal amount, and I was next. And they had all the money. All the cash registers were open, but it was not bad at all. Oh, good. A lot of people shopping. And everybody was, like, keeping their distance. Yeah. If, if people were backed up, people would turn around, and, you know, so everybody was keeping their, their social distance. The quarantine excitement. We got an upgrade. Birds have finally come to the that birdhouse. pretty cool. What do you think? May I, my How my long has that been here? For a week, maybe? Oh, the so first that, birds! The birdhouse has been there since, all, since last year. That birdhouse? That used to be at our house house, though. I brought it here. Well, it was sitting up uh, closer, though. I brought it over here because they, the birds nested last year, and I thought, well, maybe this year they'll use this. Oh, look at them. They look so happy. Oh, where's the other one? Did the other one leave? There was two of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. The other one left. Well, he's just social distancing, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> Literally nothing feels more dystopian than getting a daily address from the White House. <laughs> getting very familiar with this couch while I work remotely. <laughs> okay, so now it's been a bit and I'm trying to like find different setups rather than just sitting on the couch because I don't know, there's not that much space here. I kind of like to have a workspace. I always do work at my kitchen table at home. I never sit on my bed. I usually just want to chill out on the couch. So I'm trying to sit at my mom's painting desk that's in my room, technically the guest room, whatever. He has this whole crafting corner full of her art supplies, 
that she uses. So I just set up my laptop here. We're gonna try this. She has a nice little way. I'm actually, while I'm here, looking into applying to some jobs and things when I go back as well. I'm completely self-employed right now while this whole pandemic is going on and I can still do work and be on social media and be posting videos. A lot of people or just lucky with their line of work and don't have as much control over it. But I am looking ahead and applying to things for the near future. I honestly don't even know how it's gonna go though because I know that a lot of places, at least for eight weeks, aren't gonna be working in session. And I feel like it'd be really hard to start a job remotely. As long as there's postings online, I'm applying to the ones that I'd be interested in and we'll see what happens. Now I'm gonna apply to this fellowship and then um, probably go for a walk because it's like 45 degrees out right now and the sun's shining and I need to get some exercise. Well, some like walking. <laughs> I just need to get some steps or else I'll go crazy. I'm coming down to the river just to go for a walk, get outside. I think it's so important if you're self-isolating especially to still get outside, get fresh air, exercise if you can, away from people. <laughs> the snow is still melting. I thought it'd be mostly melted by now, but the shady parts, I just like slipped halfway down this hill and um, I'm still afloat, but it was too funny not to vlog, but I just made it past that part. So this is the Deschutes River, goes through Bend. It is so nice out today. It's not even cold. I'm just in this little puffer from Fabletics. It's not super heavy, so I'm doing just fine. Oh, the sun feels so nice. Even if you're in the city and you can't really go anywhere without coming into contact with people, go up on the roof of your apartment building if you can. Try to get some fresh air a little bit. I'm gonna go this way for a change of scenery. The birds are chirping. They have no idea there's a pandemic among us. Oh my gosh. This is a cute little picnic area. After I got back from my walk today, did more work, and then we had dinner, and me and my mom and my dad watched the movie Contagion, which was a 2011 movie, I want to say. It was like a fictional movie about a pandemic, and um, it was like weirdly eerie. Obviously, it was more extreme, much more deadly, and much more blah blah blah, because it's a movie, and Hollywood dramatizes everything. But it was still like weird to see the steps that they went through and very similar parallels and especially the ending. People were asking because I posted on my Instagram story that I was watching it and people were asking if it was good or if it was worth watching. If you have a lot of like anxiety or fear around this situation I wouldn't really watch it. I thought it was pretty well done while also being like entertaining so it wasn't like gory or anything. Especially the ending. How you saw it. Well I'm not gonna give it away but I really like the end. I mean, it was like creepy. It was like eerie. I don't know. What else would you do in a pandemic besides watch a dramatic movie about a pandemic? Am I right? I'm gonna go to bed for the night. It's like 10.30 and I just don't have a reason to stay up late. So I'm gonna read for a bit and get some sleep. I haven't been setting alarms just because I don't need to and I usually wake up around 8. See you tomorrow for another day in isolation. <laughs> Happy Wednesday if it's happy um i should adjust my seat first like a responsible driver i haven't driven since christmas yeah this backlight is not it you might be wondering christy why are you leaving your house right now i'm honestly not like going anywhere or planning social interaction. I just needed to drive. Listening to music, driving, getting my mind off of things. We watched the daily address this morning, which like I said, feels so dystopian. They announced closing 
the border with Canada. I don't even think this is a good angle by any means. It's kind of dusty on the road for some reason. I think it's this truck is kicking up dust. Drop top. <laughs> I love this drive. It's kind of cloudy and gross right now, but when it's sunny on those rocks, it is so pretty. So yeah, I don't have an objective right now. I'm kind of just driving, feeling it out trying to be normal. I was going through my email today and I saw that YouTube said that they're demonetizing videos that talk about COVID-19 like it's sensitive material and to me that's just so ridiculous. I feel like YouTube does this censorship of important things. Like it's just sad that they're like oh this isn't advertiser friendly when it's like okay but this is what the entire world is dealing with right now and you're incentivizing people to not talk about it. And I don't know, I just, but yeah, so far here, things have been pretty normal, but again, I've been like distant and I've mostly just been with my family chilling in their condo or in nature. Yeah, I might drive through and get coffee somewhere. Why are they playing this song right now? I just realized I've been listening to Bad and Bougie for the past like two minutes. My parents were planning on having their estate sale this weekend at our house in Cannon Beach where they were gonna, you know, sell all the stuff that we went through and decided we'd no longer want. They decided to cancel that. At first they were just gonna like only let, you know, they were only gonna let 10 people in at a time. And so um, they decided just to postpone the sale altogether. This was probably going to push back their timeline as far as selling the house and everything because they had to get all the stuff out. And frankly, I don't think people are going to be out and about shopping for houses in the same. Make sure Nike store is all closed. Here's FedEx. It's still going. GameStop is open. <laughs> if anyone wants to go get Animal Crossing. Doomies is open. But I'm like, who's shopping right now? All restaurants and everything are takeout only. So personally, I thought that was pretty... Not that I'm saying it's a bad thing, but I thought that was pretty extreme for Oregon. Like I totally understand in big cities closing down all the restaurants and all the hot spots of people gathering. Um, but if you live in a small town like me, I mean, Bend isn't like the smallest of towns, but you can tell, I don't know. Like I just think it's so, it's like very different to close all restaurants in Cannon Beach, Oregon than it is in New York City, you know what I mean? We're all living through this weird time that's gonna be like, written about in history books and I bet these are the stories we're gonna tell our grandkids talking to old people about the Great Depression well we're gonna be the old people talking to kids about the great COVID-19 <laughs> live from Bend Oregon Christy out we're trying to do a group FaceTime and we're trying to watch a movie at the same time on Netflix <laughs> oh is that like the carousel music I'm hearing This is the year 2020. This is how social interaction is now. Wi-Fi on her phone, so now it doesn't quite work. The music! Wait, can someone add Marissa back? Where'd she go? Now I'm getting a... Um, someone's adding me on my phone. How do you do this? I left the tabs on your computer. How do I find where this is coming from? The music coming from Sierra's computer. We're super angry. <laughs> is that your voice? Marissa's an exclamation point. This is big chaotic energy. I found what it was. What? Um, they're my voice memos. It opened all my voice memos. <laughs> Why was that in your voice memos? It's a recording track that I did in 2015 for a voice lesson for musical theater. <laughs> Wow, what a throwback. I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here. Honestly, this room lighting is just awful. I FaceTimed with my roommates from college. You guys know Sierra, Marissa, and Sophie for a couple hours and we watched the entire movie of New York Minute. Those were a few days in my life, quarantined at home in Oregon. I don't know, I'm like slowly trying to find some sort of routine and normalcy here. Things are still so weird and up in the air and constantly changing we're getting through it so thanks for watching i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next vlog very soon let me know what you want me to film next i love you stay safe take care of yourselves keep your social distance it literally we were making jokes about how this is wally -E, like us talking on facetime and watching movies together virtually see you very soon bye <laughs>